Hey, I am Free Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. And today I'm back with another In Touch devotional. Uh, today we'll be in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 25 through 29. The topic is things that cannot be shaken. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 25 through 29. See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken, that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. Things that cannot be shaken. On the news, there are often interviews with people who've suffered with unimaginable tragedy. One day, we're shown tornado survivors whose homes were torn apart by powerful winds. On another day, we may see unanticipated floods washing a neighborhood away. The expressions on the faces of those who have experienced devastation can be haunting. Losses like these always draw our attention toward the fragility of those things we hold most dear, such as our homes, families, and careers. But in a world that often seems to be spinning out of control, believers in Jesus have the privilege of sharing the best news imaginable. We have something that's stable something completely secure. There is a rock on which we are able to stand, and it cannot be shaken. That unshakable foundation, of course, is Almighty God. We can trust that Scripture is His unchanging, relevant truth for all time, as described in Matthew 24 through 35, which does read, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. That was Christ. We can depend on a secure, eternal relationship with the Lord, and we can be sure that an everlasting, heavenly home awaits all those who place their faith in Jesus Christ. This is described in Revelation chapter 21, verses 20. Two through four, and that says, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things have passed away. We can have stability even in this unstable world. Among the people you know, who needs this life-saving good news? Don't wait. Share it today. I think that is beautiful. And we do live in a world of chaos our social media our news stations they thrive on delivering us all this negativity reporting instability again with the chaos destruction and all of that can be unnerving unsettling alarming uh, but for those of us that are believers, we have the Prince of Peace. We can be comforted by the Holy Spirit himself. 
and know that we're going to a better place. The things of this world are temporal, uh, meaning uh, temporary. It's not going to last. The suffering you're enduring right now is very temporary. What we want to do is live in obedience, confess our sins to the Lord, repent, which means to turn away from those sins and ask for forgiveness. And we can look forward to the day where we will be with the Lord forever. Amen. Um, that's the devotional for today. Again, my name is Three Plus Key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. Uh, please comment below um, what you like about um, this video, what's going right in your world, and what you love about being a child of God. Uh, share this video with someone who could use it. Like this video if you love it. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And with that said, I will talk to you later.